I hate holidays, yeah. right? Although I go, maybe I have to, but I hate holidays. <laughs>Medal school, it's Tuka time. Tuka Suleiman from Dragon's Den is going to give us the secrets of business. He's going to give us his views on crypto and how you make business dreams reality. But Tuka, my first question is, what was your career? Simple, really. I, I've had my ups and I've had my downs. And, and, and I started um, at a very young age, in 1920, I was an accountant. Um, I remember the company called Ridley & Co on Southampton Road. And I was on five pounds a week. Um, but but I, at that time, I also had that vision that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, and I remember uh, in those days, there was three big business ideas. You were either a, a film star, you were in property, or you were in fashion. That was the main, and that was in the mid seventies, a long time ago. So if you're going to work out my age, don't. I'll tell you what I, how old I am in a minute, right? Um, so from there, um, by accident, um, I got into the fashion business through my grandmother selling clothes to a friend. Now, Tuki, you like this one. What's your view on cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency, look. Cryptocurrency, I'll tell you what it is. What is cryptocurrency? It's like Bitcoin. All right, it's a Bitcoin. Uh, can you touch it? Why has the value gone up? Because there are so many idiots on the bandwagon trying to cash in. It's a pyramid scam. Somebody somewhere is going to lose. Right? And, and I think that until the governments, US, Japan, UK, Europe, starts to stabilize their own cryptocurrency that's linked to their own currency, cryptocurrency is a scam. In my eyes, I'm not saying in my eyes, it's a scam and it will fall. That if you want to go to a casino, you've got more chance in the casino maybe, because eventually cryptocurrency will fall. And what are your three P's of business? Well, you've got to find peace within yourself. Second of all, you've got to look at yourself and say, what is my potential? And the third thing is about purpose. What is my purpose? There are three P's, I call it. Yeah? If you can, if each, each one, if you can wake up in the morning and, and answer those peace, potential, and purpose. Remember those three words. Because they are what I say to myself when I wake up in the morning and I say, well, why am I up today? What are my challenges? You know, some are good, some are bad, but I deal with them. You know? Finding your own inner peace is very important. What is king in business, Tuka? If you watch Dragon's Den, you'll hear my face that says, cash is king. How many of you think that cash is king? We all agree. Cash is the bloodline of every business. Without cash, unfortunately, you haven't got a business. So I think when you're starting a business, just be very careful. Um, what you're spending, especially if you're raising money from investors. Don't go out moving into flashy offices, buying flashy cars, uh, and using your investor money uh, for your own personal purpose. So, so when you raise money from other people, it's going to be like your own money. And it's like another expression, every penny is a prison in your pocket. You've got to spend it very wisely. Because it's very easy to say, well, I've raised money and I'll raise again. It doesn't always happen. And, and, and the initial part of creating a business and, and making that business say that's got future, so important for, the, you know, for your valuation. What happened when you hit rock bottom? The biggest mistake that I did, I did not do my due diligence. So lesson number one, whatever you're doing, whether you're starting a business, whether you're starting a brand, whether you're acquiring a business, or you're entering into a partnership, do your due diligence. Very important. Um, subsequently, um, I became chairman of two public companies and then lost everything. So I was probably in my late twenties. I, I, I lost my house. I didn't lose my house. I actually, um, it, was, it was, I gave a guarantee to the bank 
and it was Lloyds Bank, and Lloyds Bank did not foreclose on me. I sold that, my house, I gave them the proceeds. I still bank with Lloyds Bank. Uh, after 40 odd years, I'm probably one of their oldest clients. Um, and it, it just transparency. So I think the real question, we'll, we'll get to that a bit later, about being transparent when you're in difficulty. Talking to your banks, you know, don't let the bank chase you, you tell them what's going on. You know, if you're in a difficult situation, the best way is to go, tell them where you are, they're there to help. How do I disrupt the market? Do it better and cheaper, okay? Okay. However, answering your question, one of my brands is Hawes and Curtis. We have never, never been busier selling suits. And everybody realizes that after being locked down, suits don't fit anymore. Uh, everybody, everybody wants to get a suit that fits them. People are going back to work. Um, a lot of competition have gone. So you know, the likes of Debenhams, uh, Burton's, uh, a lot of, you know, all closed down, it's an opportunity. If you're doing suits, I'd say to you, focus on your customer, give them what they want, give them the after service, how you can make a suit fit them perfectly. Thank you, Tuka, for telling us about the free peas, Cash is King, and you've got a lovely store. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,